Hello everyone, in this video we're going to explore how you can achieve perfect marks for section B of paper 2 of the AQA, A English Literature AS examination. So a reminder of the structure of this paper itself. So it's one and a half hours in length. It's 50% of your total AS and there are two sections. We've already explored section A in previous videos, so please feel free to go back and find those. Section B, which we're going to concentrate on now, is one comparative essay based on two novels. So, a couple of questions for you now. How do you plan a response in order to achieve full marks? And how do you write the perfect response? So feel free to pause this, note down how you would answer the question in order to achieve full marks, including how you would plan, and then when you're ready, press play to resume. So let's look at the mark scheme first, shall we? So once again, this is a question that's worth 25 marks, and once again, the marks are evenly split. Uh, one is your ability to write an argument. Now, in order to achieve full marks for that argument, you need to use more than just simple ideas, perceptive ideas, which are sophisticated in the way in which you argue. So that essentially means that the points that need to be made are complex. Actually, the way you argue those points in itself needs to be slightly more sophisticated than obvious. You also need to make sure you include terminology which is at a higher level in order to support your critical ideas. To get into marks for O2, this is where you need to make sure you are analysing, and in particular, form, structure and language. You also need to be thinking about the way in which you're using those references in your work. Now, three is your inclusion of context. Remember, social, historical and literary context are all things you can include. You can also include the context of the extracts you're talking about, which also is important. Four and five both were three marks here, so you need to make sure you're using perceptive connections between the text and linking them together, so not just simplistic ideas. Then you need to also make sure you're including alternative interpretations, so that could be different writers' viewpoints, such as a feminist, a psychological viewpoint, but it could also be actual um, quotations or reviews you have from previous experts. So thank you. In our next videos, we'll look at how we can plan and write this perfect response. But it was important to make sure we embed what our answers need to include if we're going to achieve perfect marks. Thank you.